Hello friends, this is Brain from GameBrain.media back with part 2 of the Pro SX 450 Championship in the game MX vs. ATV All Out. Once I finish this Supercross series, I am going to blow through all the national tracks. Um, and like you see here, I'm just trying to get through it. Um, there's a lot more to this game. Like I, I think, man, honestly, now I, I forget. I think I paid 13 bucks for this thing. I've played like 26 hours maybe. Um, and, you know, I went through the 250 East and West championships. I went through some golf cart or side-by-side, um, -side, you know, UTV uh, racing, some waypoint racing. Um, overall, it is a fun freaking game. And you know what? As long as I'm on the topic, let me look at my Steam. Okay, I have MX versus ATV All Out. That's what we're currently playing. I also have MX versus ATV Supercross Encore. I think... All Out came out in 2017. I think Encore came out in 2016. You know what? Let me let me click it and see. Does it tell me when it came out? No, not unless I go to the store page, and then that takes me away. All right, so I also have MX versus ATV Reflex and MX versus ATV Unleashed. Um, Unleashed, I think, is the oldest, and I will click the store page for this one. That game goes all the way back to the year 2006, and it was a good game. Um, MX versus ATV Reflex. Clicking the store page. I'm looking in Steam, and you can't see this browser right now. But, uh, yeah, this game was released, or it was posted on Steam in 2010. So, you know, I, I've played them all. From Motocross Madness 1, Motocross Madness 2... I don't remember what came after that, but there was like MX Extreme from some other developer, and then eventually we got. I don't. I don't. I, I really don't remember the the pecking order, but we went to MX versus ATV, MX versus ATV Unleashed. Then I think came Reflex, and then all the rest. So anyway, there's a whole lot of history in the series of motocross games that you can find on Wikipedia or any of your other favorite gaming sites. Um, I'm just here to tell you that this game cost me 13 bucks on sale, and it's well worth it. You can find cheap games on CD Keys, uh, CD Keys, K-E-Y-S, C-D, K-E-Y-S, dot com. And then you activate. They give you, a, you know, one of those big, long CD Keys, 128-bit uh, uh, character or whatever. Not really. It's uh, 16 Four, 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 four. Yeah, sixteen character um, codes, and you unlock it on Steam, and it just acts like a Steam game. It automatically updates and launches through Steam and all that good stuff. So we're gonna carry on with this um, series, <laughs> this season, this section of the game. But I just wanted to give you all the four one one about where you can get this game, and that it's on sale a lot. It's well worth it. Yeah, baby. Got that whole shot. Got that sweet, sweet whole shot. Yeah, it is a game changer. Sorry, Ken Burns. You can't come here, dude. Alright, so now we're coming up on a triple. Is it a huge one? Nope. Oh, boy. Whew. Landed in the flat. Got to remember that uh, I don't need to go balls out on that triple. And we got the dragon back. Mm. Boy, having landed on the downside of that would have been great. Give me a whole lot more momentum coming into here. Oh, this is a triple. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, crap. If I had reoriented myself, I might have been able to save that. So, from a triple to a um, on-off tabletop twice. Oh. Ken! Dude! You know, turnabout's fair play, as they say. Yeah, I didn't really think I needed to flick this too hard, but uh, there it was. I flicked it too hard. Oh, that was... Really nice on-offs, or uh, those weren't really on-offs, so those uh, just double-doubles. And now, this is short, uh, yep, no flick. I pushed forward on the stick, and I made it. Woohoo! Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Had no run up into those. Whoops. Ugh. I got no run up on this triple. Hopefully I'm gonna make it this time. Get the on off. Tabletop on off. Oh! Blew it, blew it, blew it. But I'm still in second. Good lord! I've been ending up on my freaking front... Uh, on my face, actually. Because the, um... Oh, no! I keep I keep ending up on my front forks like in a nose wheelie so often that oh short short triple short triple that I've gotten gun shy and now on this track I keep tipping over um, almost tipping over backwards so this isn't fun let's see if we can blow through these whoops and get through this triple On off, on off, there you go. That section just got put together the way it was meant to be. Thankfully, this is the last lap because I struggled through there. But, man, I'm having a hard time catching this number three guy. And it's too late now. All I can do is hope to pull out third. Nobody is up my butt. Whew! Made it! All right. Wow, these guys got filthy. Yeah, I'm clean as a whistle. All right, so third place on that track puts me in first place on the season overall, but I'm only one point separating me and Kiowa Burns. That must be Ken Burns' uh, brother. Or have I been calling him Ken and it's been Kiowa the whole time? Oh, that's a girl. I think. Anyway, she's trending upwards. Um... Yeah, there's no other burns in the joint. And I'm only... Th one point separates me from... How come on the race... race? Oh, my last race points, I got 22. They got 25, because she was in ahead, of, ahead of me. All right, well... We've got a fairly good spread. Almost 10 points between me and Theodore Pauly, the third place overall racer. Let's carry on. Alright, well... Oh, cool. Indianapolis! I have been to the Indy Supercross at least five years in a row. Maybe it was uh, three years and then one year break and then two more years. Um, I love going to the live Supercross races. Been to Redbud on, I think, four occasions. Um, that was kind of like every other year for eight years. And then I've uh, been to Glen Helen once or twice. been to another national and I've been to another supercross but I don't remember when the hell they were. I don't think it was Atlanta. Nah, we never got to Detroit. Everybody was afraid to park their car there. So like we would always go with five guys. Or four of us from Chicago would meet three guys from somewhere else in the world or somewhere else in the U.S. Especially for the Indy Supercross race, uh, we were Team AMA back in the days of Motocross Madness 1 and 2. No, uh -oh. oh, I really thought I was going to case it. I really thought he was going to crash. Hopefully, he kept that, or thankfully, he kept that together. Oh, yeah, now, oh, oh. Yeah, kind of blew my rhythm, but looks like we're going to get it. Fairly decent time getting through that whole last uh, section. Now this little corner series, I'm actually really liking. I think it could be, I could get through there a lot faster with some practice, but during competition, I'm not going to risk the lines and, the, and, and the, doing what I thought I was going to do. Just like, just like that section. Really like that on-off corner. 
Okay, this is a small triple. Oh! Not that small. I do remember this track from the 250s. Come on, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, I didn't think so. I was just trying to give myself positive vibes. Been kind of negative Nancy a little bit now and then. Not to give Nancy a bad name. You, Soul Popper, what's up, brother? Oh. Well, I pulled out a win on this one. And let's see how I'm going to do first on this race with Theodore Paul. Ah, good deal. He finished. He was 10 points behind me, and he is now... He only got two points for this, and I, I should be maintaining like an eight-point lead on this guy in the overall. And then uh, Burns, Kiowa Burns. Look at that. She finished 15th. Oh, wait. Crap. Did I already? Ah, well, accidentally went to the overall standings. Wait, did I? Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, carry on, Wayne. Soul Piper, what's up, man? I was, I'm trying to finish this game. Um, I've been loving it. And it's fun to play, but it's hard to stream because when you just crash and burn, <laughs> it's really embarrassing and, and sad to uh, to do that over and over and over. So I've uh, tried streaming it on a number of occasions and just quit because I'm quit in disgust. All right. Oh, wait. Whoa, look at that. We made the triple. We made it perfectly. Oh, but we didn't get the on-offs, and that's fine as long as we can get a good rhythm through here. Bam. Found out my aim didn't suffer <laughs> when you went back to going to play in Division 2. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, how we go through periods of obsessiveness with one game or another game, and then we don't play one of our favorite games for a long time, and we're back to it. Oh, shit! Ah! Ah! Really want to get up to this guy. want to pass him. want to get into first. want to get that inside line. Oh, blew the triple, or, well, that's not even a triple, but, uh, blew it all the same, and lost the position. Rip row. Getting a little cockeyed. On off, now we can get this. Ah. Uh. Oh, I was hoping that was a speed series of corners. Shit. Oh, I'm so bummed. I was doing so well. Give it the program, man. Try to maintain that inside line. Not let anybody get past me. It's gonna be block. It's tough, uh, because if you play blocking, then you don't really get to take the fastest line because you're blocking. But then once you get a little bit of breathing room, you can go back to your faster lines and hopefully stretch out your lead instead of having to block. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's not a triple, but, uh, oof. But I boned it both times. Oh, now I'm in fourth. Man, I was in the top three. I was going to podium. I got to take this guy. Got to take this guy. Oh, and then I hit the toughies. And then I blew the freaking on off. Oh, and then I got passed again. I'm falling apart. Go! Oh, squashed into the ground. Foul play. Bastard. Fuck you, too. I know, you might not even be the guy hit me. 
Well, time to block that inside. No! Ah, oh, man. Lucky to pull out a sixth place finish. Holy cow. First to second to third to fourth to fifth to sixth. Oh, it's so frustrating. But I'm still pulling it out on the season overall. Oh, my God. Theodore is catching up to me. He did well in the last race. Um, man, there's only a five-point spread between us. And then Cade Klassen has a... Uh, I have a good lead on them. 17 points over them. Well, that could happen. That could change in a heartbeat. Like, if they if they pull off a win, 25 points, and I pull off a loss, <laughs> zero points, um, then they're suddenly ahead of me. No, it's not really zero points, but this uh, Burns chick, Kawa Burns, is... Uh, kicking butt. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Holy crap. Five more races? Whew, this is a long season, boys and girls. <coughs> but goals get this done, then get the outdoor nationals done. Um, I did run Re Redbud just to see how it felt, and I did remember a lot of the different sections from where I used to love to sit. Um, there were places where you could sit and feel the earth rumble beneath your feet when the bikes blew past. Um, there was this beautiful little corner. When I play the game, I'll, I'll point it out, but... Oh, good lord! Over the handlebars? Are you kidding me? How could I have pulled that? Ow! Ow! Yeah. I am really, really tempted to restart, but uh, I remember this track from 250s, and I think I really liked it because it's got some technical sections, and I should be able to pull this off once I slow my roll and figure out where to go. Like, not into the tough blocks. Trying to protect that inside line. Row, 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 row. Uh, I was afraid I was going to case it. Got lucky. Didn't case it. I'm up into fourth. for that tough block. Saw it coming. Oh, get away from me, dude. Or you know what happens. Karma is not friendly. Had one rider go off the off the track. We're really close. If we could get to the inside. Oh, so close. Almost had the first place. Oh. Whew. Whew. <laughs> that was awesome fun. Yay. Alright, so I got second place there. And Theodore. Man, he's second in the overall standings. He pulled it out over me, and he got um, an extra two points. I'm still holding out in the fr in the top for the lead in the season, which is impossible to me, except that I know all the other riders below me have been jacked around in the point standing in order to put me in the higher ranks because I'm playing on easy mode. All right, so Theodore is at 239, so he's got uh, he's only three points behind me. I have to beat him. Uh, there's only a handful of races left. Um, let's see. Kiowa um, is down there at 211, so she did poorly in the last race and fell way back in the points. That's great. So really, Cade, well, Cade Clayson, Clason, whatever, is uh, 223, so he's substantially behind us in the point standing, and as long as I don't bone it and finish in... 16th, and if I see myself going to finish in 16th, I'm going to reset the game. 
or I'm going to reset the race and replay that race, and I'm not going to fail. I want the trophies, man. All right, four to go. Party on, Wayne. Soul Piper, I don't know if you're still um, hanging around, but dude, did you get any snow down there in Florida? Because we have about four inches. They said they were going to get eight, but uh, you know how that goes. Oh! Oh! I hesitated. But all is not lost. <laughs> what snow? <laughs> yeah, to a Floridian. Well, you're not Idahoan, so you know what snow is. It's this. It's those potato flakes. The Idaho potatoes. The mashed potato flakes. You just haven't seen it in 20 years, I suppose. Right. Oh, stay on the inside. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, God. That's always the problem with trying to go tight, man. It's like going tight or going wide, you're going to hit freaking tough blocks every once in a while. But hopefully I will be able to maintain my position. Off. Come on. Oh. oh, didn't quite carry enough speed, but it was just enough. Oh, crap. And then I was afraid that that was a false triple, like one of those little wissy triples. And I thought I was going to blow it right there. So I'm trying to maintain, trying to keep my pace nice and smooth. No tough blocks. The bane of my existence are the tough blocks, man. That's what I always am struggling against more than anything. And, um, you know, because... It's... Ah, there we go, there we go, that's nice. Sure got that going for us, sure that's nice. Oh yeah, that was a pretty reasonable uh, rhythm section, even though it's not the way it's intended to be done. Alright, one more lap. Trying to ooh, stay away from the tough blocks. <laughs> As he hits tough blocks. Stick to the center of the track. When it's all mine, it's a lot easier than when I have to share with someone else. And they're bumping you around, you know? Ah, see, I could have nailed that as a triple. I pushed out because I didn't really know, didn't wasn't paying attention. I was actually looking at my split times, trying to figure out how far of a lead do I have? What if I do screw up? Can I pull it off still? Bam! Got through it. Dragon back. Bam! Whoa, got the inside line there. Yes! Oh. Oh, oh, this is a little different rhythm. It works. Yes, indeed. Pulling off of, uh, first point. First place finish here will help me immensely in the points standings. Yeah, a little, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Justin Walsh. Mm. And then Tyler. Oh. Dude, the guy. Where is he? Who the hell was in uh, second place? Theodore. Oh, Theodore did poorly on the last race. And now I'm 10 points ahead of him. I'm a good 27 points ahead of Cade Clayson. Oh, and Ron Ron is down there somewhere. Oh, man, there's still three to go. There's a lot of opportunities for those guys to catch me, but not if I cheat and reset the race. Well, it's not technically cheating. It's kind of like taxes. Um... Looks like somebody's going to get a whole shot. Oh, look at that! Woo-hoo-hoo! Woo-hoo-hoo! Woo, that was a sweet ride. 
No, uh, yeah, I didn't think. Oh my god, that was a quad. I really thought it was going to be a little pussy uh, um, triple. Oh, I could do much better through there. And the whoop de douche. Uh, I figured out how to hold my thumb right on the gamepad and the diddle stick at the same time and maintain that rear wheel position, or that, that rear lean position, I should say. Oh! Oh, I was afraid. I was afraid I was gonna, like, case it, and then I end up getting through. Man, there is such a beautiful rhythm way to get through there, I just gotta string it together. And a triple. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. It's yep. Oh, come on, dude. Interesting track. I'm actually liking this. It's got some technical sections, baby. And then it's got some fast, um, flat tracking sections. Woohoo! Woo! I, yeah, I kind of blew it there. Saw that as I was getting into it, but what can you do? Too late. Alright, bam! There's that quad. Man, that was beautiful. Alright, so now how do I get through this? Uh, okay, double, triple. Mm, didn't make the triple. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, locking my, f locking my palm against... Oh, the gamepad, and here's another player. Player two enters the building, enters the fight. Oh, it's her, Kiowa. Ah, uh, she's not a threat in the points. So I'm not really going to worry too much about her. Aha! There we go. I knew there was a really sweet way to get through that section. Didn't have it strung together. And now... Mm, mm. Oh, I should have given that a flick. Oh, shit. I blew that one on the last, last go-round also. I thought I was going to fucking case it there. This is the little quad. Oh, made it, made it, made it. Okay, then it's double, triple. Now are we getting into... Nope, not, that's not the... Oh, the next section is the hard rhythm section. Okay, lock your finger, lock your finger. Nope, this ain't the hard rhythm section. Oh, it's the hard tough block section. Kiowa, I need you to fall down, please. Ha! This is the tricky uh, rhythm section, and I kind of pushed out and wanted to just make sure I got through here without blowing it, crashing. Alright, and this is where I keep pushing out on the triple. I'm gonna send it. And it put me ahead of her. Back in the first place. Down the run, towards the finish gate. Or starting line, finish gate, finish line. Oh, pulled off a first, Kaya was second. She was back in the standings. That means she beat the guy who was nearest me in the standings. And I, look, I should be in good shape. All right, so Kiowa. Oh, she set the best lap. Ooh, we were both smoking. She was a .16, I was a .73. She's behind me by two points on that. And then... Um, yeah, Theodore has dropped, uh, let's see, 76, that's four more points to 80, and then 10, 12, plus fours, 18 points behind me. Woohoo! Nice! I have a comfortable lead. Oh, I thought it was the last track. We've got two more to go! All right, well, I'm getting pretty excited. This is finally coming to an end on this game, and I, I don't know. <laughs> it's not that I'm excited for this game to end, it's that... There are so many other games to play. Uh, Supercross 3 just looks spectacular. Monster Energy Supercross 3. And, you know, I really contemplated going back and running MX versus ATV. 
and Unleashed and Reflex and just really looking at those. But, man, it's, it's also time consuming. And you know what? I don't want to do that. I'm going to restart this freaking race. I was yapping instead of racing. But yeah, I want to go. I want it. I, I do want and will go back to MX versus ATV varieties. <laughs> Unleashed, um, Unhinged. No, that's me. Um, all the other stuff. So let's see. Let's get to the series. Let's go to the 450SX. Uh, Pro SX 450 Championship. Carry on, Wayne. I, I did get the pull shot, but then I fell apart right after that. Anyway, getting into the Monster Energy Supercross 1, 2, and 3 games is really interesting to play them back to back, which I did over the weekend. I didn't stream it, I just wanted to do it and uh, get a feel for it and see, yeah, this is going to be a fun stream. And then, you know, I also have MXGP 1 and MXGP 2020, the latest version against the original version. And that, that could be a lot of fun too. So, So, a lot of things coming up in the moto world of racing and streaming. And I got first place! Well, that was worth a restart in my book. Yeah, uh, it's not tactically cheating. I mean, she kissed me. I didn't kiss her. Not technically cheating. Alright, I'll shut up. Psh, fat chance. Uh-oh. I saw a green bike. There's somebody pushing me. I'm getting some pressure. I'm gonna lock that... Lock my palm. Maintain that uh, rear wheel. At elevation. Yep. Short, short finish line jump on this track. Gotta remember that last next lap. Short finish line. And, oh boy, how do we do this? On off? Nope. Interesting little weird section there. And then a triple, and another triple. Triple, triple. Woohoo! Oh, staying on that rear wheel. Oh man, I lost it. I got too steep. Really slowed my roll. Alright, so what's that? Not far off. Um, where are you getting Snow Runner? What? That's where you. Oh. Where are you going to get Snow Runner back? Oh, when am I going to have Snow Runner reinstalled? Um, you know, I looked at it and. It's just. So many other. There, there's so many games. I, I got all these Supercross games that I've been in, installing and downloading, I should say. Whoa! Just barely missed the tough blocks. Um. Oh, baby! Look at that! Oh, what a sweet section! Oh, oh! Whoa! What? He accidentally tried to pull a trick right there. That was not intended, but, uh... Alright, so to answer your question, um, it's my final lap. Oh god. Oh, there's guy's freaking wheel right there. Did you see that? Gotta protect the inside. Finish line is not far away. Just past these whoops. A couple of jumps. And I do believe the season is mine. Alright, so I've been waiting for a new video card before I... Honestly, part of that is I want a new video card before I reinstall SnowRunner because I've watched a couple of streams that are just like, my game does not look anything like that. That like They have such different... I don't know. It's not really... How do I explain it? Three-dimensional effects? I mean, the car, or the vehicles, look like a model. Like a model car inside. It's almost like tilt-shift 
from some of the tilt shift images I've seen where the vehicle has really excessive reflection and shading and rounding and it looks like a model metal diecast metal car sat in the middle of this video game terrain but even their video game terrain is better than mine so part of me is like i don't want to play it until like and mine looks like that all right so final race i'm still in the points lead i didn't talk about that um how far po ahead i am in the points but i'm in i'm in a pretty good position it feels oh god hiccup sorry um anyway yeah i do have some time that Let's see, is today Friday? Not yet. No, today's Tuesday. I'll start a download. Oh, yeah, I also got a virus on my phone. Well, I got malware on my phone. And I really thought that wasn't a thing, but I spent today, half a day, dicking around with removing malware from my phone. Oh, dude, is this... Yeah, this is Vegas. I didn't notice it at the start, but... I, I know the track, and I do love... Oh, look at this! Love this track. Fast track, gonna be a nice uh, speedway section, or flat tracking section, coming up, I think. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I blew that. That was tough. Oh, this is a triple! Bam! Can I make it? Yes! On off. Oh, blew the on off twice. Okay, so when am I going to hit the flat tracking section? Just keep that. In. Oh, God. They are not far behind me. Super fast, silly ass speed track. Got to get the rhythm good. Oh, blew that, blew that, blew that, blew that. I think the. Um, flat tracking is coming up at the end of this section. It's like this ridiculous section. Oh god, I saw some guy's name behind me. Yep, here it is, a flat tracking section. It balls out, man. No! Oh! Shit! That is so fast if you cannot fuck it up and hit the frickin' tough blocks. Okay, so if I can get in front of this guy again... I should be able to get through that flat track section. Oh, here's triple, here's triple. the rhythm section. He nailed it. Well, he didn't quite nail it, but he didn't blow it like I did. No, oh, second or third place is right on my heels. Whoa! Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Dude! Okay, as we go into, uh, the section that leads into the flat tracking section. Hopefully, I will be able to get this flat tracking action happening. And that leads into a rhythm section that, as long as I line it up right and I'm not too far out of it, he just blasts through here. A really good roller. Caught up to him. Now I gotta get on his inside. Ugh. A little too much. Uh, second. Oh, that's that's it. Last lap. Second place in Vegas. Oh well, season ender. I think I made it. I think I finally finished the 450 Pro. How's it go? Pro SX 450 Championship. Yeah, I think so. Second place this race, but first overall for the season. Yay. And it's on easy, so I'm not too proud of that, but uh, 
wait a minute. Oh, okay. It's it's on Anaheim. Okay, so as I go through the season, I can see that the very first race of the season, that was fourth, then seventh, then first, then 15th. Oh, my God. Then second, 13th. Wow. Second, fourth, third, one. Wait, did I skip a couple? Yeah, let's see. Where was I? Thir uh, second, that's 13th. Yeah, then second, then fourth. Third, first, sixth, second, first, 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 and second. So, overall for the season in the Pro SX450 Championship and MX versus ATV all out. Um, yeah, that's where, where I stand right now. And I probably now just put in an extra couple hours. So, I'm going to like 26 hours for $13. I'm getting way over my money's worth. You know, a dollar an hour to me is a good game, right? Pay 20 bucks for a game. I want to play it for 20 hours. And a lot of games give it to you in gangbusters. Witcher 3, fuck, I played 140 hours in that game. And I think I spent 40 bucks, uh, and then I bought the DLCs. So, I don't know, maybe... I think maybe I got it for 30, and then I paid another 10 or 15, or maybe 10 bucks for each additional Blood and Roses and the other... Um, DLCs, totally worth it, 100% worth it. Um, highly recommend anything in the MX versus ATV series. Make sure you check a website called Can I Run It? I'm fairly certain that's what it's called. But it gives you the system requirements for virtually every video game, and I believe it might even have an app that you can download to your computer. And you run that app, and it looks at your video card, your processor, your amount of RAM, your hard drive space, and then you say, can I run it? And you go to that website and you click, click, can I run it? And if you have the app installed, I think then it tells you that, nope, you can or cannot, um, based upon what it has already learned from looking at your hardware. Pretty cool. Pretty slick app. Um, can I run it .com. Um, You can buy this game cheap and every other MX versus ATV game cheap. Uh, by watching the Steam sales, and also at cdkeys.com, and also at, what's the other website, istthereanydeal.com. It shows you the historical low price of the game, that it's ever been on sale. Like, this game's been on sale for 6 bucks, but I bought it for 13 bucks. Totally worth it. Highly recommended. Um, so that's going to wrap up today's stream on the Pro SX 450 Championship in MX versus ATV All Out. I will be back doing the MX Nationals eh, pretty, probably in pretty quick order, but I'm going to take a break and uh, have a beer and catch you guys on the next time, on the next stream. Later.